Hemp farming is coming to Kansas thanks to a new law. And KSNT News reporter Alec Gartner tells us how local farmers are trying to figure out how to cash in legally. James G. grew up on a Kansas farm, but hasn't grown crops on it for 16 years. I've been looking for something, and this has tripped my trigger about three or four years ago, and I've researched it. Now he has high hopes after the governor signed a bill last month allowing industrial hemp to be grown. It's used for oils and plastics. Hemp farmers will have to get a license to grow the crop, but they will have to keep a close eye on it. If THC levels get too high, the crop is considered marijuana and is illegal. What we know is that the law will not allow us to uh, put that product into commerce or, or move it off the farm. Farmers can control the levels with the climate and the way it is planted, but for some farmers, the risk is worth the reward. They haven't been getting, getting the potential use out of it like they could be. Farmers with wheat, soybeans, or a cornfield like this will soon have to decide whether to switch to hemp. If we were not regulated as far as the amount we could grow, or if it was regulated, say, to 100 acres, uh, I would grow all hemp. There's really no crop out there today that I could farm other than this that could let me go back to farming that's going to make enough to where you know I can support this thing. Farmers who gathered Friday to learn about the new law say they're ready to get started and are excited about the future. They say industrial hemp could become a dominant cash crop in Kansas. In Manhattan, Alec Gartner, KSNT News. The Department of Agriculture has until the end of the year to make rules on how industrial hemp will be regulated.